many people assume that being wise means being on the safe side. But do you remember the story of the smart ants? This wisdom is shared in both comic and religious books. To the young children, parents and teachers would say, learn from the wisdom of the ants. They go out to fetch and store up food for themselves. The wisdom of the ant is that they step out to gather food even though they understand their vulnerability. Playing safe is in the opposite direction of success. So, if you must get wealth, there are certain courageous moves that you must take. And this video seeks to enlighten you about 9 of such steps. 1. Cut down on expenses One of the most challenging tasks on the route to success is the ability to differentiate between wants and needs and stick to the essentials. Spending less than you earn goes a long way in making you amass wealth. According to Susie Orman, look everywhere you can to cut a little bit from your expenses. It will add up to a significant sum. To manage your expense properly, you first have to differentiate between your needs and wants. Secondly, you must learn to make weekly or monthly budgets and lastly learn to track your income and budgets, either manually or digitally to make sure that they do not exceed or equal your earnings. In taking this action, you can review and redefine your expenditure. 2. Find the right kind of job Catherine Whitehorn once said, Find out what you like doing best and get someone to pay you for it. The wrong job is the one you do not and could not develop an interest for, not the one with low pay. It may interest you to know that the right job for you at a particular time may be the one with the least bead. However, you ought to understand that you may have to start at the bottom of the ladder and work your way up. But if you love what you do, it is way easier to climb up the ladder. While doing what you love, you will be open to learning the things needed at a particular phase of your life. And when you have gained all the necessary experience and connections, you may contemplate moving on to other companies which would widen your horizon on different business cultures or start up your organization. In considering jobs, don't just focus on the salary alone. Cogitate how fast you will be able to learn. Find places where you can improve your skill and where you have the potential to grow. 3. Exploit and invest in your skill Without sharpening your weapon, standing on the war front will not increase your chances of winning. It is not enough to do something, so many people can actually do that thing you do. Thus, for you to gain relevance, you ought to do it better, in a unique way. Why do you see that some entertainers and sports people are more celebrated than others? It is because when you are exceptional at what you do, better opportunities tend to be available to you. One significant difference between the successful and unsuccessful is that once the successful one notices a talent in themselves, they fan it into flames through continuous learning of various forms. However, the futile individual, when they discover a latent gift, fold their hands and wait for a big opportunity to come to them so they can explore their skill. In the words of Benjamin Franklin, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. 4. Utilize your skills let it be your goal to do one thing every day that makes you better in your field than you were the previous day. Most sportsmen, entertainers and big names in other areas are millionaires because they fully utilize their skills. If you are good at something, then it is most likely you can acquire beautiful rewards from it. When you are the best at what you do, you find that more opportunities come to you. The best known method to be the best is to keep doing. It is not enough to discover, it is also not enough to develop. If you must make a living out of that skill, you must begin to deploy. 5. Build your enterprise Starting up a business is not easy, and it takes much more strength and resilience to keep moving after the first 5 years. Many companies crash because they try to use the same template that their competitors already use. However, if you can find a new outlook towards the market and build a business that fixes that need, then you have a possibility of succeeding in it. One statement attributed to Winston S. Churchill is, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. 
It might take many years of hard work to build up the enterprise, and like every other successful entrepreneur, you might have to take risks and endure huge losses and pains. But if you can pull it off, the possible reward is enormous. 6. Venture into something new Although the risk is high, not only do you amass wealth for yourself, but you also get recognition. Taking chances may seem dangerous. However, if you must be rich, then you must be ready to take calculated risks. Your business does not necessarily need to be new because in real life, nothing is new. Everything has been attempted. But be sure to take the path that majority are scared of taking. Criticism is one thing that discourages people from taking this step. Nonetheless, the discouragement you receive from others is often based on their capabilities and limitations, and not yours. Thus, giving up a course before people say you can't is a wrong move to make. You must own your game. 7. Get stocks from a startup Although if the startup crashes, the outcome of this move may be dangerous, then again, amassing wealth is a risk in itself. On the flip side of this long-term risk, however, is a vast expanse of wealth. Early employees in Apple, Microsoft, and Google became millionaires through this act. Owning stocks in one or more startup is a valuable investment if the company thrives or if a more prominent company handles it. Nonetheless, successful people do not just take risks, instead they take calculated risks. When it comes to investing in stocks for startups, be sure to ask yourself specific questions. Do you believe in the vision? Do you trust your partners? Do you have robust information that can tell what will happen in the future? Would you venture in such a business? 8. Build a portfolio of stocks and shares In today's financial marketplace, a well-maintained collection is essential to being wealthy. If you can make a steady investment in inventories over a long period of time, you should go a little further and make the wise decisions to reinvest the disbursements so you can build a large store of wealth. On the other hand, investment in stock might not go as planned, and this can cause many investors to lose heart. But considering long-term, equities are as good an investment as property and much more liquid. A stock market crash is an advantage for those with cash and tough guards, as it provides excellent buying opportunities. 9. Grow your network The saying, your network is your net worth, was right in the 50s and remains true today. If you want to be wealthy, then you must be intentional about growing your network. Many men are successful today not because they are smart, but because they tagged along with the right people. If you understand how to build your network, you can drastically expand your opportunities. No one ever makes it to the top without taking dreadful risks and encountering hurdles. If you must be wealthy, then you must learn to take bold steps. These steps, though unpleasant at the moment, have the potential of changing your life for good and forever.